Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Lush Kitchen menu. I'm back, yay! Yeah, so I'm going to try and do what I said I was going to do beforehand, and that is to create a video in under 20 minutes, or around 20 minutes, so I don't have to do lots of editing, so it's actually possible for me to get these out to you every single week. So without further ado, I'm just going to dive right in. So starting up on Monday, we have two of my favorite products, and I'm so excited for these products. This is the one that I said I would get if it comes back in the kitchen. I don't think I'm going to buy any, but I'm not too sure. One of the products is called Bathos Bathos. I still don't know how to pronounce it, Bubble Bath. And this is one of the only ones I have left, so I'm gonna open it up for you guys now. This is one of the old school ones, so back in the day, uh, before the Lush Kitchen even happened. And I love this Bubble Bath so much. I will tell you right now, it is super, super moisturizing. It's one of those that just leaves your bath water so silky smooth, it's unreal and you don't have to use very much at all. I would say a third of this is more than enough. If you go for half, your skin is going to feel incredible. If you go for the full one, you're probably going to end up feeling a little bit like a seal because your skin is just going to be amazing. And I can smell it already and it is gorgeous. This is the Bathos Bubble Bar. Look at that beautiful little bee in the middle there really cute this one leaves your bath water nice and purple as the picture and the product suggests it does and um it smells of violets but sort of a grassy violet scent this is what is sort of in between don't rain on my parade and curbside violet so curbside violet to me which i actually have an ultraviolet somewhere around but i don't know where it's gone right now i suppose i could just get my curbside violet Perfume. Curbside Violet is a little bit more grassy than Bathos. And the Tucker Tucker and the Don't Rain on My Parade is a bit more like sweet vanillary. This is just sweet violets with a slight powdery grassy undertone. So it does remind me a little bit of Palmer Violets. There is that musky element to it, but it is gorgeous. And this is one of my top five bubble bars. Top 10 bubble bars, I think top 15 it is one of my top bubble bars basically and i would highly recommend that you buy some that is bathos bathos bubble bar first day back not helping much when i can't get the names right also coming up on monday we're having a beautiful violet party is the violet nights bath oil and this has been a product that many people have questioned recently to me that doesn't make sense have sent me questions recently asking how long it was that this came out and i generally thought it'd been out quite recently but i realized it hadn't this is so unique in the fact that it's a bath oil and it's one of a kind lush haven't so far brought out any other ones in the lush kitchen this way but the basic idea of this is that it's just oils that you pour into the bath and actually if you pour them near the running tap it creates bubbles as well. It's sort of like having 100 bath melts, but in liquid form. As you can see, it's so, so runny because it is just pretty much oils. And again, it's very violety. This is probably similar to Bathos, but again, it has a little bit more of a grassy scent to it as well. And it's a bit more grounded, I think. Uh, it's got vanilla absolute in here, but it's also got sandalwood oil. And I think the sandalwood just brings it down a bit, grounds it slightly, so it's got a nice rounded smell. This one doesn't really turn your water particularly nice colour. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to be oils for your bath. But I highly recommend if you want some bubbles, pour this in the running water right by the tap. And this will produce bubbles as well as leave it nice and moisturising. I love this. I use often use this by itself, as you can tell. I haven't got much left. I do have a brand new bottle as well. Um, which I'm very happy that I do. This, they should bring out more bath oils, I think, in this format, because this is really lovely. If you like violets, you want to give this a go. Coming up on Tuesday, we have a product that I only recently learned is one of the Lush Kitchen's biggest requests, which I actually, I'm quite shocked by it. I wasn't expecting it to be so, and that is the grass shower gel. This is my bottle of grass shower gel. I haven't used any of this yet because I've only recently, as in about two weeks ago, used up my bottle from 2015. This is one that I sort of go through phases of loving and then not really wanting to use. This really does just smell like grass to me. This is one of the most natural scents that Lush have done and it's so true to its name, it's unbelievable. It's just freshly cut grass, that sort of phosphorus greenness of it is just so good. So it's sweet, but it's like naturally sweet as in it's grass scented sweetness, not as in citrusy or sugary or anything like that. It just really smells like the smell you get if you were to get on your hands and knees and give grass a big whiff. 
because we all do that on a daily basis, Jen. Uh, that's exactly what it smells like to me, and it's so lovely, especially in the spring and the summer. This is the perfect time to have this in your shower. This will perk you up and just leave you feeling like the day is going to be fantastic. I happen to love this one. It lathers up really nicely, you don't need a lot, and the smell intensifies in the shower, but again, it's still that nice, light, airy, uplifting, sweet smell. And I don't know what else to say about grass shower gel. The colour's, you know, grassy. It's like a green colour. It's not the brightest of greens, but I'm not bothered by that. It smells delicious. And this goes really well with the grass solid, obviously, same scent, grass solid shampoo bar, which is equally as beautiful and uplifting and light and airy. And that should be made a permanent in stores lush. Just saying grass shower gel. The second product coming up on Tuesday is something called the Beautiful Pea Green Soap. And I would be able to show you that soap, but I had a bit of an accident a couple of weeks ago, as in my radiator decided to spill its entire content or water content onto my Lush collection and destroyed about a hundred pieces of soap. They basically just went all gooey and gangrene -y, if that's even a word, and pretty nasty and it had to go in the bin. And unfortunately, the soaps in this week's menu were two of the products that ended up having to be tossed. Beautiful pea green soap, I can't say it's a favorite of mine. I love the name, I love the premise behind it. It's a pretty soap, it has nice little decorations on the top, but in terms of scent, it's such a light smell, and it's not one that I think makes much of an impression, really. It doesn't stay on your skin for long. It's quite a difficult latherer, as in because it's a glycerin-based soap, it's one of those soaps that's sort of quite rigid. It's not a nice soft soap that lathers up easily and creates a big foam. It's one that you really have to work with and work with the water. It smells to me a little bit like wet shrubbery. Again, there's sandalwood in here, so it does sort of ground the smell a little bit, but I think there's a very slight sort of tanginess from the benzoin resinoid that's also featured in here. I mean, it's, it's worth worth a go if you've not tried it it's always good to try something new but it's not one that i would personally buy again and it's not a favorite of mine so that is the beautiful pea green soap coming up on wednesday is a brand new product called the deep forest atmosphere bath bomb and i'm going to do this thing now where i don't really review a product i've never tried basically i've not tried this product at all so i have nothing i can possibly say uh, any reviews anything that people have said online i could just kind of copy what they have to say but I, I don't want to mislead people into buying it when it turns out not to be what I thought it was because I haven't tried it yet. So I'm sort of going on other people's guesses and reviews. So it sounds interesting. It's exciting. I like new products. I will be buying some of these, but I can't really say much because I've never tried this product before in my life. And the second product coming up on Wednesday is Sod Soap. Soap. Soap Sod. Soap. Ah, what is it? I had to check then. It's Soap Sod. Soap. Soap sod soap. Bit of alliteration for you there on a Saturday morning. Um, sod soap. Again, such a weird colour. I love it. It's like a turquoisey green. Not really turquoisey, just a like a just an intense green one. And it's not sort of translucent, so it's quite a thick looking soap. And it's slightly squishy in between your fingers. Sod soap is a little bit better than pea green soap in my mind. But it's a bit of a stronger smell. In fact, it's one of the most potent smells that Lush do in soap form and it sort of took me back a little bit. It lathers up really lovely, but I would pre-warn you, this is one of those that if you leave on the side of the bath or you leave somewhere slightly damp, will just run. And it's one that if you're not careful, will leave disgusting green trails of stuff all the way down into your bath or down your wall. To me, this soap, as I said in my review, smells like a freshly mown lawn, but it has that sort of sweet tanginess of the chamomile that's also included. And there is an underlining little tiny tweak from like the herbal lavender side of things as well. So it is quite an intense smell, but you can make out these different layers. Again, I'm not a massive soap person. It's not one that I'm going to buy any of, but I do think that this is a soap for those who like natural smells, who like quite potent smells. Um, and it is good for this time of the year, in all fairness. It's quite, you know, it's quite a strong soap, but it's something that would make you feel really summery, I think, if you used it in the morning before you head out. And it does stay on your skin, you can smell it. Thursday is such a great day in the kitchen. I'm so excited. Thursday is easily probably the best day of the week for me. And we start out with a product that I love. I love so much. And I'm a bit sad, but I'll tell you why in a second. It is the Sunflower Bubble Bath. Now here is one of my sunflowers. It's a little bit broken off, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here we go. First and foremost, these smell incredible. 
if you love citrus smells it is up there with the smell of tweet it is so zesty and so bright and so mouth-watering you literally will salivate smelling these it is a privilege to have this in my house and when i had fresh ones they just stunk out my room for days and days and days so if you like fruity bright zesty uplifting smells you have to get yourself some of these secondly they are massive i mean just look at this this would easily see you through five six maybe even seven to eight baths depending on the small slices you can cut from it these are so good value for money probably the best value bubble bar ever from lush i would honestly say they are worth the price tag so don't be put off by the price tag unfortunately these little beauties and i have four of these in total these little beauties were all underneath the radiator when they got rained on basically and so even though i'm going to use them they've lost a lot of their smell and they're quite saturated in water and it's really upsetting so i will have to buy some next week because i can't not have any in my life i would honestly say as long as i get some that's cool but you need to get some of these as well like this is just amazing like honestly sunflower sunflowers are, tend to be sort of they remind you of the sun and they remind you of like bright days these will brighten up your day this is such a good bubble bar to have even in the winter months if you're feeling a little bit down this bubble bar is incredible and it's so moisturizing just like bathos at the beginning so moisturizing in the bath yes it turns your bath water a little bit yellow it might not be a color you particularly want to bathe in but you can you, know, you can throw in a bath bomb to change that this is so moisturizing it's amazing on your skin you will not regret buying any of these this is the sunflower bubble bar and also coming up on thursday is another product that i've grown to love and has been in my life for the last few months and i've loved it and that is the spring cleanser facial cleanser you know me if you know me regularly nine to five is my be all and end all product the one that i have to have in my house in my life every single day so switching up and trying a new facial cleanser is not something that i take lightly i take very very seriously and i didn't know how comfortable i felt switching up from nine to five to this but honestly this has been a godsend and it is now up there with one of my favorites because it is very different from nine to five smell wise and consistency wise this is far thinner and you'll notice over time this will actually oh nice hair this will actually get even thinner over time but that is a good thing i mean i've got a little bit there i can sort of show you if you can see that alongside my lovely beautiful hair which doesn't even look like my hair because it's blonde strange uh, i don't know anyone who's blonde so i've got some on my nose this is just refreshing and cool and crisp because the key ingredient in this is cucumber and you do get that cucumber smell in there it's very i don't want to say the word's not placid but it is very cooling and crisp and just like you would do if you were sort of making a dip featuring cucumber you get that nice kind of ice cold feeling to it um it also has um almond oil it has violet leaf fennel oak moss chamomile and so on it's just a very gentle I would say it's probably a floral smell as well but the cucumber really does dictate this a lot um it is not as effective as nine to five at removing makeup because i tend to use it not just for a cleanser but to actually remove my makeup after i finished uh it's not as good you have to use a little bit more of this to get this off but it's really really worth it i also found when i started using this and one of the reasons why i sort of it was probably just my skin reacting to something different but the first couple of weeks of using this i did find that my skin sort of came out a little bit in spots more and maybe slightly greasier but after that my skin obviously adapted and realized that i wasn't trying to kill it i was just changing products and actually it was very forgiving and therefore i was able to use this and i do love this this is a really nice cleanser i would recommend it it does leave your skin nice and smooth and clean uh, and refreshing and crisp and yeah spring cleanser is a nice cleanser I will probably be buying myself at least one of these. And on to Friday in the Lush Kitchen. One product I have, one product I don't. The product I do have is Fox in the Flowers Bath Bomb. And unfortunately, again, this is one of the ones that got attacked by my radiator. So it's quite a sad day for me. Still smells nice, but doesn't look particularly great. This is Fox in the Flowers. This is one of those bath bombs that I would perhaps highly suggest that you don't keep for long, that you use pretty soon, because when you first get them, they are so potent. They are such a strong, grassy, uh, multiple layer floral smell. Not a nice, pretty, crisp, lilac sort of smell. 
This is definitely strong. This is sort of like throwing yourself into a pond full of flowers. And when they first arrive, they will stink out your room above anything else that you buy. However, I tend to find within about two to three months, if you keep them in a box somewhere, even if you keep them separate from anything else and you keep them just with other ones of their kind, they do tend to lose their scent fairly quickly. So I'd highly suggest perhaps, even if you love them, don't necessarily buy a million of them to store. Just buy a few and appreciate them pretty soon early on. In the bath, it creates sort of like a pastel green color, which is very similar to all that jazz bath bomb. And you get lots of beautiful flowers on the top to sort of give that decoration. If you're somebody like myself, who doesn't necessarily always want those debris in the bath, you can obviously put it in a sieve when you're putting it in the water and the sieve will collect all that debris and you'll have a nice green bath without anything in it to sort of get in your hair or get in your way. After using this, I found that my skin felt really replenished and really clean and I was uplifted, even though the smell is quite intoxicating. However, I do feel that perhaps for me not being a massive floral lover, the scent is a little bit too strong and if you're someone who's adverse to quite strong smells, I would avoid this one because it's one of Lush's strongest bath bombs. And the other product that I mentioned coming up on Friday is the Geofizz bath bomb. And this is one that I was expecting to really enjoy and I didn't, but I know it's super popular. So the basic idea of Geofizz is that it's supposed to be like a spa treatment in a bath bomb format. It is absolutely packed full of salt. So it's actually one of the heaviest bath bombs you will come across. And I found that most of the time when I put this in the water, it would sink. It's nice and green, it turns your bath water green and the idea is there's lots of salts in there to help purify, detoxify, remove any debris, any dirt on your skin and leave you feeling super crisp and super clean. What I did find when it comes to the salt is that because of how much is in there, some of it will sink down to the bottom of the water. So you just have to be careful when you're sitting in there not to sit on any sharp shards of salt because some take a little bit longer to dissolve in the water than others. This one has cypress oil, pine oil, um, and sandalwood, so it's kind of very pine-like in a way, slightly green, sort of forestry, but not, not super strong forestry, I'm not talking tramp or super tramp, I'm just talking, it sort of reminds me of a pine forest, if you see what I mean. The pine is sort of the key there, with a bit of cypress oil, which makes it a bit darker and a bit more sort of like resinous in a way. Uh, but not super strong. It's not a intoxifying, crazy strong bath bomb either. In all fairness, it was nice on my skin. There was seaweed absolute in there, which did leave my skin feeling nice and soft, but not anything to write home about really. Nothing that sort of stood out for me as being a highly effective bath bomb in that way. So that's Geofiz bath bomb. So top three products of this week. Well, Sunflower Bubble Bar has to be up there as the number one. I am so excited for you guys. If you've not tried this already, you are in for a treat. Second product, I'm going to have to say Bathos, Bathos, Bathos. Amazingly effective at its job and just one that smells gorgeous and leaves you feeling gorgeous and needs to be purchased. And I think the third product I'm going to go for this week is Violet Nights Bath Oil because again, smells of violets. I love violets. It's one of my favorite scents from Lush. It's just, it's so effective and so good value for money because you buy a bath oil for two pounds and you can use it once, maybe twice. This bottle will last you a long time. It can produce bubbles, it leaves you nice and smooth and it smells delicious. So there's my Lush Kitchen video for the week. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you very soon.